All right, guys, we're coming out here to get the eggs this evening. But I wanted to hop on here and say thank you for watching. Um, thank you for being part of our family. If you're new to our channel, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, but I am going to show y'all stuff that we've done already for the property. Um, some of the land clearing is part two. We've already done a part one and I'll put that in uh, that video link in the description box. All right, Savannah, get them eggs. Dude, get out. She thinks she got food. Go away. Wait. See, they think you have food. There's an egg. Right outside the door. I swear I saw my let them out and I forgot the fences on them. And I came up in here with the fence on them. What's up, dude? Hey, these are the color of the Moran eggs. And this rooster out here uh, is one of the breast roosters that we had. This isn't the one that we were afraid of. Uh, he actually got into a confrontation with that other rooster and um, injured him. And we don't know. We didn't Where? see it. We don't know how he did it. But he ended up uh, beating him and killed him. That it. They're not coming after you. This rooster is not a mean rooster. I'm not talking about the rooster. I had that chick, that hen come after me before. Because I went after her egg. So this is one day. Got a little over a dozen eggs. So anyways, uh, Marcus is over the road and I'm working on videos. Um, I know it takes me forever to get videos, but try to get it all taken care of. As much as I can. So, anyways. Um, so this video is the, uh, second part to the land clearing, and then there's going to be a few other things tossed in there. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. into explaining that Marcus rented this machine it's a little mini excavator to help clear off uh, the back part of our property it was covered in bramble and briars and a lot of uh, fallen uh, trees so we needed a space to start getting it cleared out for maybe putting some more animals back here uh, and also trying to figure out the layout of how the water is draining There's actually a dry weather creek right in front of where Marcus is pushing that dirt. Uh, we did want access to this uh, creek to see what we could uh, utilize it and uh, help with our animals. We definitely needed more access to that creek. Okay, so here we're jumping ahead a couple of weeks. I wanted to go ahead and show you what we did after we rented this machine for the weekend. We did as much as he could 
uh, for the weekend and then we planted some feed wheat uh, to cover the ground and hopefully draw in some deer. Looks good, don't it? It's starting to come in. So we're out here around all the stuff that I cleaned up. It would be a lot easier if all the piles weren't in the way you could see it, but we seeded everything so that we could have a cover crop and we don't know how bad the season's gonna be and you don't know how good work's gonna keep up. So I planted all this extra grass. So if all comes, you know, worse comes to worse, I can run my animals on all this green grass. It's a lot bigger than what it looks like, but there was so many briars and so much brush out here and we took it all the way back. And uh, we probably took back an acre, a and little what, over an acre. We worked on, or you worked on this over a month ago? Yeah, two, about two days, two and a half days. But And now it's already grown up green. Yeah, and it'll make a, a really good spot. Uh, we're gonna have all the piles of brush moved and put in one pile and we're gonna have a big burn and we'll be able to use all that biochar right there to put into our compost and all that. So, but the grass attracts deer and other wildlife that maybe we can harvest. And if it don't attract anything, which is already attracting deer, we got deer tracks out here, but it also lets us reclaim all the way back to the dry creek that eventually I'm gonna make run all the time because the creek stopped up in the woods I, that was just all i could get done but we were able to seed it out real good and take back an area i mean heck whenever we get more animals we could already put quite a few animals here here and over there because it goes a long ways back that way but yeah this was a lot of work and a lot of brush and I left a pile of dirt back over here because you always need dirt. It was a good pile, so I seeded it too because it didn't matter. It never hurts to, you know, cover crop anything. But we have clover growing, we have wheat growing, we have oats growing, and uh, a lot of rape is coming up. So we have all that going, and the creek is where we can actually see it. And it, it also keeps snakes back and... The predators, the more you clean out, the less the predators want to come in. And uh, we're just trying to take back the woods. We have a lot of work still in progress, you know, that's going to take place. So we're just happy what we have here. We have some stumps we're going to have to burn out, grind, or dig up. But we're very happy for what you see here. And, I mean, I can, I can put my animals on it if I want to right now. So it's actually, you know another food source for my animals in case times got worse but it's also a great cover crop to where it will make sure that i have green grass and not a bunch of weeds and stuff growing back and it, it sure enough makes the cleanup a whole lot easier it's not as much mud whenever you plant so it's easier to walk on and of course we can't leave this video without saying hi to howard Marcus stopped to give him his pets. The others started getting used to him. Howard has become quite a celebrity on our little homestead. That's how they uh, oil up their feathers, keep them waterproof. And just as a recap, the ducks that we have on our property are all Muscogee ducks. They're really good for meat birds, uh, and that's what we got them for.